You should think about what kinds of exhibits might be useful proof for specific issues in your case. For property and debt division, you may have financial documents that are relevant, such as bank statements, credit card statements, house appraisals, or broker's opinions of values, but not tax appraisals. You may also have other documents and exhibits and evidence such as Kelly Blue Book appraisals or printouts for vehicle value. You may have other loan documents as well. If you have custody and visitation matters before the court, you may also need school reports, which means attendance reports and grade reports. You may also need counselor's reports and medical reports as well. You must prepare your exhibits in a certain way before presenting them in court. Follow these steps. First, gather all of the things you want to show to the court and sort them. For example, you may have a pile of medical bills from your child's pediatrician, a pile of credit card statements, or a pile of photographs of your house. Second, prepare an offer of proof for each item or pile of documents. In your offer of proof, write down what you think the exhibit will prove and how it helps your case. Offers of proof are not mandatory, but they can help you decide which exhibits are really helpful to your case, and they can also help you explain the exhibit in court. Third, mark each item or pile of documents with an exhibit sticker. If you are the plaintiff, you use the yellow stickers. If you are the defendant, they are blue. You can get these stickers at most office supply stores or at the customer service desk at your local courthouse. Place one sticker on the first page of each exhibit in the bottom right-hand corner. Write your case number on the line provided on the sticker. If you are the plaintiff, you will number your exhibits starting with the number one and going up from there for each new exhibit. If you are a defendant, you will use letters starting with the letter A and moving through the alphabet even though the sticker asks for a number. For example, plaintiff's exhibit one or defendant's exhibit A leave the admitted checkbox blank. If your exhibit has many pages, you should also number the pages at the bottom. For example, Defendant's Exhibit D, page 3. You only need to put the sticker on the first page of each exhibit. Fourth, fill out your exhibit list. The list looks like this. At the top, fill out your name and case information. On the left-hand column, list all of your exhibits by number or letter, and then give a short description of them. For example, on this list, the plaintiff has five exhibits with titles that briefly describe what they are and the time periods they cover. Fifth, put all your marked exhibits in one pile with your filled out exhibit list as a cover sheet. Make four copies of all of it. Here's where all those sets of exhibits go. Bring the originals to the trial or hearing with you. If they are admitted, you will give them to the in-court clerk during court. Later clips explain this procedure in more detail. The first set of copies must be mailed to the other side or the other side's lawyer by the deadline in your scheduling order or hearing notice. It's very important to exchange your exhibits with the other side by the deadline. If you fail to do this, the judge could say that you are not allowed to present your exhibits. If there is no deadline in your scheduling order or notice, you should give the other side a set of copies before the hearing or trial starts. The second set of copies is for you to keep and use during your hearing or trial. The third set of copies is for the judge to use during the hearing or trial. You can either submit those to the court file at the same time you mail them to the opposing party or simply bring them with you and give them to the judge at the beginning of court. The fourth set of copies is for your witnesses to look at and use during their testimony. If you have witnesses appearing by telephone, be sure ahead of time to mail them a copy of any exhibits you want them to see and use while testifying. If you have many pages of exhibits, it is useful to put all of them together in a three-ring binder and put them in order by sticker number or letter. This makes it easier in the courtroom to find the exhibit you are talking about and it will make the trial or hearing go faster. You should start preparing your exhibits as soon as possible. It often takes much longer to get them ready than you think it will. If you find or get new items or documents that you want to use as exhibits, you can always mark them and add them to the list at a later date.